Hello and welcome. Now in this video, we are going to create sign up forms for our list. And if you look at the very top, you'll see that there is a link that says sign up forms. And when you come to this page, MailChimp will give you six kinds of forms you can create. General forms, embedded forms to work with your WordPress blog or some other website, a subscriber pop-up that you can use with code, form integrations you'll use with third-party applications, Facebook forms, and then forms that you can use when you are working offline. And so you'll choose a particular form. In this case, we'll choose the general forms. We can decide to let our subscribers pick the email format that they want to use. And then we're given a sign-up form URL that we can pass on to our subscribers. The first part of the process, you're given the base form, where if you just want name, first name, last name, and preferred format, you can use that format in order to start your design. You can add any fields that you want to add from this right-hand corner, and you can change the existing fields by working on the right-hand side menu tab where it says field settings. So we can toggle back and forth between add a field and field settings. Once we have the form structured the way we want, we'll then click design it. And we can change background color. We can change the body. We can change the default text, the link style. And then we can add in what are called monkey rewards, which will give us the opportunity to promote MailChimp to those with whom we are in contact. And if you're using the free account, and if you are using the free account, MailChimp will require that you do include their monkey rewards form. You can add a translation feature into your form also. What you can do is you can click in auto translate if you want to have the form translate into or out of the default language. If you choose this setting, you can click save translation settings. Once you've done that, in order to use the form, you can use the URL that MailChimp gives you. You can also use this QR code if you'd like to use it in that way. And MailChimp gives you a handy way of being able to share this link on your Facebook profile as well as your Twitter file. Now the form is auto-saved, so if you want to create different forms, you can do that. Your form is now ready to be used. Now that you've completed the sign up form, you'll want to go through the entire menu. So you'll see here that you can go through the sign up form with alerts. Again, you can customize and translate the information. You'll then want to go and customize your signed up thank you page. And what you can do here is that instead of showing this thank you page, you can actually send your subscribers to a specific URL. But once again, you'll have the three steps of building, designing, and translating this particular page. You'll then want to customize the opt-in confirmation email. And you can write in what you want this email to say by clicking this edit button and you can change the verbiage to say what you want it to say when they're confirming their subscription. You will then want to customize the CAPTCHA information where they are determining whether or not the individual is a human being. You'll have the three steps here again to design and translate. You'll then want to change your confirmation thank you page. Once again, you'll have the three steps design and translation you'll be able to edit this information in this box. And you'll go through each one of these steps and you'll customize all of the information. Now, you can leave it as the default setting and MailChimp has it set up so that the default information is all the basic information that you need. But you can go through each step of this process that your client or your prospect will go through when they're signing up for your email where you can actually customize each part of the data. Now, if you feel that you just want to go back to the beginning, you can click reset defaults and you can start over all again. And since all of the information is auto-saved, you can then distribute your signup form 
using this URL. And you have now created a basic signup form that you can deliver by URL. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in another video.